Troll. And it was right in Odmar's path. He needed to pass it in order to enter the forest. Odmar was careful not to wake the troll. But it was too late. You dare set foot in my forest? roared the troll. I am the protector of this forest. Oh, this is a dream. Go back to sleep, Odmar urged. A dream? replied the troll. No. Oh, no. For you, it shall be a nightmare. You shall pay for what your kind has done to our home. Odmar thanked the squirrel he had taken him very far. Perhaps he could find help in his village. The village was deserted. Could Odmar be the last Viking in all of the land? If he failed, would he be destined to walk alone until the end of his days? Odmar had heard stories as a child of the beast of legend that lurked below the water. But unless disturbed, that is where it would stay. The crack. It was real. Perhaps the chief's wish would come true. Yeah. 
done it. He had reached the cave the Elder had told him of. He would soon have to face the Golem. The fairy was waiting for him at the entrance. You've proved yourself, said the fairy. You've passed the test. I'll return Vaskar to you, and you can rebuild your village free of that tyrant chief and those who judged you so harshly. Odma knew this was not the fairy. This was just another deceitful trick by Loki. He was not fooled. Loki shifted into his true form, and menacingly said, I guess my trick didn't work. You're not as dumb as you look. But then again, maybe the pig is the brains of this operation. With Loki distracted by the sound of his own voice, his guard was down. This was Ardmar's chance. Ardmar and his trusted companion charged towards Loki, but were quickly struck down by a bolt of lightning that reflected off Ardmar's shield. With the influence of his power, Loki was confident that Ardmar would stand no chance against the Golem. His magic to wake the ancient golem and left Ardmar to fight for his life. Weary but resolved, he had found the shiny red gem that was the key to saving his people. Odmar held the key up high and waited for something to happen. 
but quickly realized he didn't know how to use it. Suddenly, a vicious band of goblins swooped down on Odmar. He struggled to hold on to the key, but there were too many goblins. Odmar was overwhelmed. They snatched the key and ran away. Goblins. Their treachery had no limits. It was still and quiet in the chamber. No more goblins. No more monsters. Just silence. The beautiful man-made carvings giving way to the natural forest and its magic. Here was the uneasy place where the world joined. It was as if the gods knew one day there would be a just cause for a mortal to travel beyond this place. Odmar felt at home here. He had spent his life torn between the worlds in his own head and the world of Vikings. This was a place of compromise. Maybe his people could learn from this. Maybe they would no longer destroy and take. Maybe he could truly save them. Not just from death, but from themselves. Loki emerged in front of the gate and said, are you here to join your friends, Viking? <laughs> you know, I could use someone like you in my army. I will never join you! Odmar cried out as he charged towards Loki. He was ready to fight. Do you even think your people want to be saved by you? Said Loki with a mocking smile. They will march in the army of the God of Chaos! They will be known as the ones who broke down the gates of Valhalla! No more lies! Odmar bellowed. He would not be manipulated. I have never told you a lie, said Loki confidently. I'm simply predicting your future.
Godmar had done it. But he did not know what waited for him behind that door. He would soon find out. His villagers looked broken and lost of all hope. They were astonished at the sight of Odmar. They had misjudged him. They had not believed in him. But they would never doubt him again. Vaskar, said Odmar as he embraced his old friend. Your curse has been lifted. I barely recognize you. Aye, said Vaskar. Now with Loki defeated, the fairies regained her strength. The fairy came forth and said, You have done well, Odmar. Take this. It shall lift your curse. Consider it a thank you gift from the forest. Balance and order had been restored. Odmar was no longer cursed. As he regained his strength, he realized that for the first time in his life, he believed in himself. In front of the gates of Valhalla, he looked up in awe, wondering if his parents were proud of him. Otmar was not ready to meet them, not just yet, but he'd hoped he'd earned a place by their side. He had become a true Viking.